Hi, everybody, and welcome inside the Bucks locker room. Ben Gislason here, joined by head coach and GM Dave Allison. Dave, the first question I wanted to ask this morning chatting with you was, if this season was a crafted novel, what chapter are we in, and what's the name of that chapter? Well, maybe a tale of two cities. You know, we're 32 games, or we're 28 games in. Um, I think every team goes through these trials and tribulations, so... Or maybe it's Victor Frankel, man, search for meaning, you know? And I think as much as anything, it's it's what meaning do you bring to the search? And uh, that's, what we're, that's what we're looking for in here because really the question is why we're all here. And uh, that why has a lot of varying probably possibilities. But uh, for the most of these guys, I think the why is, 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 is to find out how good they are and how good they can be and how good they want to be. This team currently trying to find out a meaning on the power play. It's been a long time since the Bucks have scored a power play goal. You've been around the game a long time. You've seen droughts like this before, I'm sure. When you're in this situation as a player, as a coach, what are the things you're trying to change to make sure the puck finds the back of the net with the man advantage? Well, I think we've just got to we've got to move the puck around the perimeter because people are pressuring us, and I think that that's a mindset and it's an understanding of how the mindset will get them into a good set and get pucks to the net and. You know, that's something that we've been working on. Um, you know, we've had different guys have opportunities to play the power play, and we just have to have, uh, you know, really just just get a bounce in a lot of ways. We've had some good looks. There's no question we've had some good looks. But uh, it is a point that, that, that has to improve. Coming into what will be the midway point of the season after this weekend, is there a tipping point to the way this team has been playing? Is it now? Is it coming? And if so, how do the Bucks try to get over the hump? Well, I, I think that you just, again, you go to why you play here. You know, why in the USHL? What do you want from it? And then also understanding that in order for you to get what you want, you have to, you know, band together and, and, and play as a group. I think that we've got a lot of good players here. I think... Uh, um, but it's the support for the style we want to play and the support for each other. And uh, we've got a lot of good components. And, and now it's, it's, it's time to just solidify and get that positive competition. You know, there, in a lot of other years, we haven't had the depth that we've got. And it's a whole different mindset for guys. And it's what they're going to face and one of the opportunities moving forward that they, they, you know, the support that they can have for each other. Coming into three games this weekend, is there anything new that you're demanding of the players after some tough stretches over the past few weekends that maybe you weren't at the beginning of the season? I'm looking for them to demand more of themselves and more of each other. If, if you're going to look anything, it's now it's time for them to start to, you know, take over the ownership of the team. I mean, you know, there has to be somebody in charge and, and we all have to adhere to, you know, what we know works. And, but the ownership has to start to come in from here. You know, we've got some guys in their last years and we've got some guys that have been here for two years. We've got, uh, you know, we've got, uh, you know, a goaltending tandem. The people are coming in here to watch play and, and uh, everybody else, you know, people want to watch teams that can, with players that can help each other be successful. How about those Vikes? Hey, you look at the Vikes, you look at the Steelers. I mean, this game's never over. You look at Jacksonville, you know, all of a sudden, you know, three field goals the next day, they go into Pittsburgh and lay a licking on them. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting how sports goes, but uh, man, those Vikings, my goodness <laughs> me. But how about Marcus Williams and how he handled that setback? I mean, what, what character and resolve and, and courage that guy showed? I mean, number 43 went from number 43 to Marcus Williams and all sent us a message about, you know, what sports is about and what, what, what opportunity is about. Always able to make it philosophical, Coach. I love that. Thanks for the time this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Read the book, Victor Franco, Man's Search for Meeting. There it is, Victor Franco, Man's Search for Meeting. He's Dave Allison, and I'm Ben Gislas from the Bucks. Have three games this weekend, one on the road against Omaha. They'll take on the Lancers on Saturday, and then a Sunday matinee game here at Buccaneer Arena against Cedar Rapids. Until then, he's the coach. I'm the broadcaster. We'll see you this weekend.